deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah PXT. My name is Sack Hunter, and today we have an action pack show. But real quick, we're actually going to be uh, doing an announcement real quick about PXT Abyss. So, with what happened last week, we had a lot of matches, a lot of stipulation matches, to where uh, there was a lot of squash matches. Um, pretty much like Bone versus Carla Mendez, uh, Jake Lawler versus C. Jill, stuff like that. And I feel like it it's just hasn't been working. Uh, like for instance, even Rodrigo going against Beogrip, which I also want to point out, that rivalry, I just automatically said these guys are not fighting anymore, I don't care how much they hate each other or anything like that, it's just, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Because of that, uh, because of even like the squash match that we got with Jake Lawler and C. Jill, um, I believe it's time for us to actually do something that I was planning to do with Abyss, I just didn't know how to do it. So, what I want to do with PXT is that PXT will be the first ever big show that is going to be a complete mystery. Now, when I say that, I mean literally, we don't know what matches are going to happen at... Which is the only matches that are confirmed is that there will be title matches, and that the champions will defend their titles. But now the question is, against who? The reason Abyss is going to be a little bit fun, because we don't know if that title defense is going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, or... A six man or fade a four way, we don't know. And that's where today comes in. Announcing right now that even with PXT Abyss, that anybody in the roster has a chance to go in and face the PXT champion or the PXT YouTube champion. Fame the Lumberjack or Flo could have a title shot? Yes. And this goes for even two new signees of PXT that we had just signed this past week. And they will be competing in the middle of the night. So we got two new people. Anybody in the entire roster has an opportunity for the PXT championship. Now, another thing I do want to point out, depending on how this month goes with uh, new people coming in, um, if we do at least get five more people, I think in the middle of that week, we could actually host another PXT tournament to determine who will be our first ever PXT Tag Team Champions, but we're still waiting on a couple people. <laughs> We are close. <laughs> we just need five more people coming in. And there is a lot of people that are interested in seeing the wrestlers coming into PXT. Um, I just think, if anything, it's pretty cool. But then not just that, we are actually going to be doing something with the PXT Championship as well. So Bone technically has a lot of contenders going for his title. There is Carlo Mendez. There is Bugrip. There is Rodrigo. So because of this, this whole week, and yes, I do need this, this whole week, or a whole month in other words, Bone Tubular is going to be defending the PXT Championship, because there's a lot of people that have title shots, and personally, because of the title clauses, they sort of gotta be defended just so then we can actually open the door for new competitors coming in. Now, I've been talking a bit way too much, it's time to get into PXT tonight! So, last week, Onyx uh, pretty much got defeated again by Electrobe, and I guess right now he's a... Uh, He's feeling like he, he needs to feed Electro. He's feeling a little obsessed by Electro, but sadly, Electro is not here tonight. And when we told him this, just so happened, Abco walked in, and uh, he walked in pretty much laughing, saying, <laughs> you missed your chance, Rook! And I guess Onyx did not take that kindly, because uh, stuff started getting heated up in the back office, and we had to calm him down. So the best way we decided to calm him down was saying, screw it, y'all two are handling this tonight. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and it is Onyx against Abco. Now every win does count because nobody knows if they're going to have a title match out of this. So every win matters from this point on for everybody. Onyx coming in. I think Onyx was also a little bit, little bit surprised as well to hear the announcement that we just made, mainly because, well, 
There was always so much plans we had for Abyss, but because of the whole like statement that we thought of with Abyss in general, it's always going to be changing, and not just that, it will always be random uh, from the pretty much foreseeable future with Abyss. If we do continue this as far as I hope we do. Onyx, uh, uh, honestly, this uh, this past couple weeks for Onyx has been pretty uh, pretty downhill, technically. Not completely down, like buried, but he is pretty downhill. The brothers and maybe the Titan can be champs. Maybe, honestly, like I said, and everybody is valid to the title. But then not just that, the matches will be random too. So technically, C. Jill could be defending in a fatal four-way. He could be defending in a triple threat. Same thing with whoever the PXC champion at the time is going to be. And not just that, if the championship keeps changing hands, technically there could be even more people in that match. So that's where it will be pretty interesting to see what happens at Abyss. But tonight, right now, Abko... Looking to, I guess, correct a wrong that happened a couple weeks back. A couple weeks back, Abkol and Onyx did go one on one, uh, pretty much to see who was going to be defeated first in their career because both men were not defeated in PXT, not pinned, correction. And sadly, Abkol came up short against the Rook of PXT. Now, here's the thing, I will say this, I don't know if the tag team title opportunities, because since we just announced that that it might be coming soon, I don't know if Abko's even, like, at all excited about the opportunity, because him and Electro are a phenomenal tag team, and they have gone everywhere there is to go. Abko is the GOAT, and all of Onyx matches were flukes. Hey, maybe, but then if that's the case, too, I mean, same thing with Abko. He has been a little bit on a losing streak, too. Technically, I think both of them have about the same, like, losses. So, oh, Abko coming in quick with a leg sweep with the shoulder. Goddamn. But Onyx not looking to let him take advantage. Coming straight in, but again, okay, both men apparently already knowing each other pretty well. Ooh. A gut shot and Onyx going to the ropes and going in with a springboard clothesline across Abko's chest. Right now, Onyx is in control. And now going in with delicious shots to the face of Abko. Now, I, I do want to point out, I think since Abyss is completely random, I think the crazy thing too is that Abko can actually cheat his way. Well, not cheat his way, correction. Technically could possibly see an opportunity to do something that Adonis hasn't done in a promotion that they've both been in, and that is become a, the main title holder at the very beginning. And yes, technically the divisions will not count here in PXC, so technically you can be in the YouTube division, but you have an opportunity for the PXC title opportunity, or a PXC title uh, match in general. So pretty much everybody is randomized, so I think that would be pretty cool as well. So Abyss is going to be very interesting. It's going to be hard to announce matches, but it's going to... Oh my god, they tripped the woman. What the fuck, guys? Oh, look at this. Up, 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 up. Uh, Onyx uh, slowly doing the... I have, I have nothing for this commentary right now. <laughs> What the fuck was that? They both both missed outside dives. Apparently, the first one, it, it, it just continues. It just continues. <laughs> well, uh, botch, botch mania. I have a big announcement, too. All of my superstars in PXC have different attires for the month of October in extent. What? An excitement for October. Yes, honestly, I don't know if we're going to be doing anything like that with uh, our... Oh, with the other wrestlers to, with PXT, but his are, and they are going to be under Halloween PXT. If you guys do want to have y'all, or correction, Shane, Jack Flo, and the Lumberjack, if you guys want them in y'all's universe mode in general as a playable characters, they are there under Halloween PXT. If you guys want to get the Halloween attires for them, if anything, we'll probably see if we can do something similar like that with our PXT superstars as well. So, in case you guys want to do that, ooh. oh, oh. Big kick right there, right now. Honestly, I gotta give props to the match right now. It's a little bit back and forth. It's not just fully one-sided, but... Oh, even with that said! 
A power bomb turned into a flat line is now enough to put down Apcol. No. Apcol still fighting, still going. Honestly, I think one thing I would be excited to see if it does happen would probably be Onyx versus uh, C. Jill. Because if you think about it, both of them technically have somewhat the same fighting style to where it's a little bit like, yeah. Already with the big moves? Dang. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think... Uh, oh, 450! Springboard! 450 splash! Two Onyx! Is that enough to put him down the rook? No! He's still going. But as I was saying, I think it would be an interesting fight between Onyx and C. Jill, only because their style of fighting is pretty much similar to where it's a mix. It's a hybrid style. Powerhouse with high-flying maneuvers. They also are both undefeated. Well, technically, technically, <laughs> Onyx is no longer undefeated because of the defeat with Electro. But I still think that would be pretty cool to see, though. Uh, I think the only people that have... I think C. Jill might be the only person not defeated in PXC. We would have to go through the books on that. But here it is. Pinfall from Apple to Onyx only goes to two. Onyx kicks out. Could be a streak end title. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's all the thing is right now at this point. I mean, every time CGO fights, he's just defending a streak now. It's insane. He's already 7-0 here in PXC, and it's absolutely insane. Right now, Onyx on the outside. Abkul standing tall in the middle of the ring, showing dominance, I want to point out here. I think Abkul's even showing that the win that happened a couple weeks back is just like... Our co-host Shane saying, nothing but a fluke. <laughs> and I mean, he's displaying it here right now because Onyx, uh, Onyx right now, is his knee is getting destroyed right now from Apple. Why, why did I pay attention to some guy's head? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Sorry, my, my, my shit's going, uh, uh, hurting my, hurting me. <laughs> CJ was the Undertaker at WrestleMania. Yes! Well, because we, I mean, technically that's the... Chad in general. Chad is technically the co-host. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, that hurt. But now, ooh! Again, a... Like I, I was about to say Electro. <laughs> Abcol is just taking control of the match. I think Abcol might... I want to say, I'm more... I'm more wanting to hear what Abcol's thought was to the tag team match that happened a couple weeks ago. Big DDT from Onyx. Could it be Onyx rallying to come back in this? Roll over into a kick across the chest. All right, now count of seven. Onyx bringing Abcol back into the ring. Looking to probably take advantage, do something here, but Abcold taking advantage with the grapple, and now, oh, hits him with a brain buster! Oh, big kick to the back of Onyx right now. Again, Abcold's just taking control. I think, I think the loss is probably getting to Onyx's head. I think now it's, it's probably like seeping in, like does he have every match down? Does he, can he actually hang with like pro wrestlers has been doing this since the beginning of time. Gets Abcol with a knee straight, uh, straight to the head. Ooh, big forearm punch right there. Ooh, big kick to the face. I gotta get across both men. Both men don't leave. Only been in like. Ooh, I want to say just two matches, counting the tag team in the first one-on-one -on -one match. They already feel like they know each other pretty well. Onyx taunting away, Abkul not liking it, sliding out, looking to probably dish out some punishment to the Rook, but no, the Rook's, the Rook's trying to do a little bit of back and forth, but again, oh, snap suplex from Abkul to Onyx. You can see an Abkul and Onyx rivalry, honestly, I probably could, do oh, big boot to the face! I think that's what this whole rivalry thing is pretty much going at because I think right now, I think Onyx right now wants to correct the wrong of like losing to someone like Electro because Electro, eh, let's be for real, Electro is full of himself a little bit, but he has a reason to be. He's he's held triple titles all around the world. He, he's always done it. So it's understandable. Oh, gets caught in a flatline. Oh, holy shit. 
Is that enough to put Aqua down? No, Aqua kicks out on the flat line, but Onyx is ready. Onyx is ready to go and hits another flat line. One, two, three, with that Onyx puts down Abco. Holy shit. Okay, goddamn. Okay, they're just calling Randy Orton at this point. Goddamn, that was. <laughs> this shit was out of nowhere. Holy shit. And with that, Onyx picks up another victory against Abco, giving Abco another loss here in PXT. To where now, uh, believe it or not, Abco's win loss record is a perfect 50 50. By the way, congratulations to Onyx. Now on to our next match. So, Rodrigo... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rodrigo's pretty pissed off in the back. To where he has literally been just walking around, just literally not... <laughs> God. Yeah, I'm laughing because literally everybody is just trying to stay away and they have been warning other superstars of keeping away from Rodrigo. But uh, an old rivalry is also starting up again where it is Adonis that came up and apparently was telling Rodrigo to calm his shit down. It's not the first time you lost a title and Rodrigo did not take kindly to that and <laughs> pretty much grabbed him, manhandle grabs like a whole crew. And I said, me and you in the ring tonight. Rodrigo is unhinged and he is ready to go against Adonis here tonight. So here's the thing. Adonis hasn't really been, you know, has it? He's just trying to help and be nice. Yes, and uh, Rodrigo's not taking it. Like I said, Rodrigo's pretty, pretty unhinged right now. But also, I think it's because Adonis does play a little bit of mind games, not really like significantly, but he does play a little bit. But I also think that. Because Adonis is back into the PXT title shot, I think that's what he's looking at. If Adonis can take out a former PXT champion, maybe this could do something for his career. So maybe this is what he's really thinking about. We don't know, because like I said, I'm just going based off his history. When he ever tries to be, uh, finger quotes here, um, helpful. But there's always something in it for him too. But now the question is, what? And because of that, that's the only thing I can think of to where he's thinking if he could probably beat Rodrigo, maybe it could skyrocket him up to the uh, leaderboard for the title shot. But now he doesn't even have to worry about that because at Abyss, <laughs> he could get a title shot. Like literally anybody, that's what's so crazy. But now, a match we haven't seen in actually, actually shit a long ass time now I'm thinking about it. This is literally restarting a very, very old rivalry, but these guys never really, how should I say it, they never really got as deep as Bugrip and Rodrigo has, like it never got that significant, because both these men do respect each other. I think right now Rodrigo is just plainly seeing red. <laughs> Literally, plainly seeing red right now, even though he's covered in blue and he's known as the Blue Menace. But, goddamn. Rodrigo look, probably looking forward to next week, since next week, depending on what happens, uh, we'll be getting a PXC title shot. Now the question is, is it going to be against Bone Tubular, or is it going to be against, again, both of them? In other words, a Hellfire rematch, to where it is Beal Grip, Bone, Rodrigo, for the PXC Championship. Which, again, that could go to anybody, too, if that happens. But it all depends what happens here at the main event of PXT tonight. So maybe Rodrigo is... Maybe that's another reason why he's going for this. He's probably going for this to build up a little momentum, but I'm going to be upfront and honest. That's a maybe. I still think it's just him seeing red and he just wants to kick anybody that's in his way's ass. It's funny that we say that he's pissed off, but really he looks calm right now. It's when the bell rings that he lets all the aggression out. But now the question is, can Adonis 
Can Adonis survive against Rodrigo? This is the first time seeing here. PXC, Adonis, Rodrigo. Here we go. Oh, Adonis, Adonis already coming in with a sling blade out of nowhere. I think Adonis looking to just, again, if he is being helpful, just knock some sense into his old comrades. Oh! Skull with this, with a fucking knee. Oh, good moonsault. Now, right now, Adonis just taking control and taunting away, but Rodrigo's not having it. Oh, but neither is Adonis. Adonis going for, oh, okay. Goes in for a big kick to the face. Rodrigo dropping him down, going for a pin. Only gets a one, though. Ooh, big forearm from Adonis. Also, I want to point out, the stream is not lagging. I'm just very slow on commentating today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Ooh, big knee shot to the face from Adonis to Rodrigo. Is that enough? No, only gets a one. You notice, though, Adonis is really going for a lot of pins on very, like, short moves. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. What the fuck? He ends on. Uh, his foot's underneath the rope. Okay. Okay. Apparently, I guess Adonis is trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson right now because that's quick. He, that was a Kienzon out of nowhere. Holy shit. Normally, we see Adonis do a lot more than hit a Kienzon, but that was that was a quick Kienzon. Holy shit. Well, Rodrigo's not having it either. I think he's pretty pissed off that he got his head kicked out. But, yeah, already with the big moves. I'm actually impressed that we just saw that. Oh, big shoulder tackle from Rodrigo, but from the rivalry we've seen between him and Bugrip, it's going to take a lot more to do, like, take out Rodrigo. Because, God, they went to war at BioWar. They've literally gone to hell and back at Hellfire. It's, like, he is a fucking tank. <laughs> it's fucking scary sometimes. But not so much like CGL. That's a, that's a match that could happen as well, to where Rodrigo could go against CGL. <gasps> oh, that'd be a match. But right now, Rodrigo taking control of the match, taking control of it. Ooh. They form to the back of Adonis, gets him back up. Rodrigo again. Rodrigo's just full on taking control. Hits a big power slam and goes with a pin, thinking that might be enough to take out Adonis. But Adonis only goes down a one. Oh, but look at this. Ooh. Rodrigo's trying to go, set something up, but Adonis quickly reverting it. Oh, here it is! Here is Mach 2! Two. 2! Rodrigo, is that enough to put him down? 1! 2! No! Only gets the 2 count. Look at this, gonna go for it. Oh, he's going for a moonsault, but quickly gets out of the way, Rodrigo does. Yes, I talk like Yoda for a second there. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, small package suplex, but doesn't go for the pin. What's Adonis looking for here? Oh, Adonis saying that's probably it. Again, gets Rodrigo out of the ring. If you see Mach 2, where's M1? Uh, M1's uh, the Adonis drop. Which, uh, it's, it's like, it's, <laughs> I think we've only seen it a couple times. We haven't seen it. He hasn't popped it out a lot. Surprisingly, he does Mach 2 more than he does Adonis Drop. Oh no, here it is. Okay, well he was setting up for the Adonis Drop. Poor Rodrigo, being a veteran, knew to get out of it. Oh, goes for a springboard forearm! Oh, look at this. We think we're, we're getting ready to see a Kienzan here tonight. K oh no, Rodrigo gets out of the Kienzon! Rodrigo gonna go for here, Rodrigo. Getting him up again, and dropping him straight down with a power slam! Donna still has some, oh look at this! And now going for the patented bear hug. He's done this to uh, Bugrip a couple times for the PXD title shot. But no, Adonis not even getting close to tap out pain, I guess. <laughs> he, he's nowhere close to tapping out. Oh, gets caught with a big knee to the face. Adonis now. No, another big knee to the face of the Blue Menace. Right now, it's all Adonis. Adonis going to the top rope. 
What's he looking for here? Going for it. Oh, he's going for a stop, but quickly gets out of the way, Rodrigo. And Rodrigo gets him with a big boot. Oh, is that enough? One, two, no. Oh, he gets a two count, but I think Rodrigo's thinking that that boo was enough. We don't really see Rodrigo hit a big boo like that. Now, Don, oh, Donis hops over. Oh, I think he was going for a clothesline, but quickly gets missed. Oh, that's how you do a clothesline. There's another one. Oh, and oh, big clothesline there. Now, the question is, is Rodrigo going to go for the discus? Oh, no, no, no. He's going for his brother's patented. Here it is. Lava Lunch. Is this enough to put down Adonis? Adonis is him. It can't. Adonis and him can't do anything against him. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I think Rodrigo's going to go for that big splash. No, he's not. Okay, he's going for something else. Oh, big shoulder tackle. Thing is, what is Rodrigo going for? Oh, I think Rodrigo was going to go for a spear. Oh, that's reverse right now. Okay, this is the first time we've never actually seen Rodrigo go for a lot of kicks. Normally, he uses his arms more than actual, like, leg maneuvers. Oh, hops over. What's he going for? Oh, spear! Spear! Holy shit! Oh, but Adonis kicks out of the spear! Oh, oh okay, I thought we were going to see Adonis drop. Gets kind of suplex. Holy shit, that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> that was a pretty cool way to do a spear. Fuck yeah. That was a Roman... Roman Reigns would be proud. <laughs> You can hear genuine shock, dude. I sound like Michael Cole when it happened. I was like, spear, spear! <laughs> right now, both men out of ringside. Spear may be a little overused, but it's still one of the greatest moves. Nah, I agree with that. Honestly, I feel like, uh, and this is actually getting true now, at least with AEW, Canadian destroyers, they're being made into like, fucking super kicks. <laughs> because you watch AEW, Everybody does a Canadian Destroyer, and it's like, oh my god. Oh, Rodrigo's looking to use a table. Honestly, that would be the first table shot, or table break. Oh! A lift-up inverted DDT. But uh, that didn't do shit to Rodrigo, obviously. Rodrigo getting Adonis back in the ring. Are, are we not going to see the table used here? No, we're not. Where did the cover go? I have no idea. And, uh, look, uh, we have those dissolvable ones. Uh, same thing with the small TVs. They're dissolvable. When they're touched, dissolve. <laughs> they cost a fortune. Man, I gotta get props uh, for just for just <laughs> wearing off steam. These guys are actually giving a show. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, spear! <laughs> God damn! Okay, first we had a flat line out of nowhere. Now we're getting spears out of nowhere. Rodrigo gets the pin! Holy shit, Rodrigo picks up the win against Adonis. Now that's good news because that is picking up momentum for his match next week for the PXT Championship. Not as good as it did. Holy shit, that was pretty cool. Congratulations to Rodrigo on picking up his victory against Adonis. And uh, good luck to your match next week against whoever is the PXC champion next week. But now on to our next match. Uh, apparently the Syndicate has uh, been talking and has not been happy because not only did they fail to recruit the Brotherhood, they failed to recruit Super because Super is not no longer trusting of Satoshi because of the not appealing to the deal or agreeing to the deal they made. With that said, they decided to turn their eyes on Shane and Jack. They were in the middle of nowhere and Satoshi popped up with Ace and was saying that he could take him far. He can show them everything about the business and promises to make them future champions. Shane and Jack pretty much thought of it as a joke, but Satoshi uh, didn't like that and pretty much 
came out with a brutal saying that, well, y'all two didn't do well even on your startings. When I started off, <laughs> I was one of the best. And Ace got involved and said, if we're gonna go ahead and just go at each other's head, let's settle this in the ring. So tonight, here at PXC, it is Shane Henry and Jack Flo going against the Syndicate. That's right, in tag team action. We're getting closer and closer. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're getting closer and closer, ladies and gentlemen, to the tag team division. <laughs> oh, I was gonna pop out their Halloween attires pretty much at Abyss because Abyss will be when it's like the week of Halloween. So heads up there. Because pretty much that's what everybody does. Everybody pretty much pops out the Halloween attires at like the week of Halloween. Same thing with Christmas, which is weird. Yeah. Dane Henry coming out. Now Shane has had Shane has had a lot of opportunities here at PXT. And uh sadly he has come up short, but but he it shows so much like so, soul? Soul, is that the word? We're gonna say soul. <laughs> I know it's not the right word I'm looking for, but he shows a lot of soul in his matches and he keeps pushing forward knowing that one day he will get an opportunity to display that he is championship material. The only thing I'll do with Christmas is like, oh yeah, no, I can see that. <laughs> that, would, that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> Dane looking to tag team again with his brother Jack Flo here tonight here in PXT. First time ever these two being a tag team here at PXT in PXT. They tag team everywhere around the world, but tonight they get to show their tag team action here against the Syndicate. Shane and Jack, last week, these two, oh god, these two practically made the show, <laughs> made the show last week, like holy crap, they were the match of the night, I'm gonna say that for sure, cause holy hell, it was back and forth, no man wanted to give up, and holy shit, it was amazing. Gotcha. Jack looking to continue his uh, momentum going in because even with that said, Jack and Shane are open for title matches at Abyss as well. <laughs> Just like everyone else, even even Satoshi. And honestly, if Satoshi gets a title match, that could be dangerous. And I mean that. That could be 100% dangerous only because if Satoshi wins the PXT Championship, he has control of PXT. <laughs> <laughs> he will have a hundred percent control of PXC. Does the two staring contest? I know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's why he wants everyone to feel the flow. Because if you don't feel the flow, if you don't, he sure as hell will make you. That's why. God damn. Again, who, uh, 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 he didn't blink, he didn't blink, he didn't. <laughs> Jack, again, encouraging everyone in PXC to feel the flow, and if you don't, he will make you. Shane and Jack look ready against the Syndicate here. Satoshi being the crime boss of PXT. Again, a former uh, <laughs> a member in Japan coming to PXT to show what he got. Again, I don't know if it's safe to say the name. That's why I don't say the name. Because <laughs> I, I don't need to get targeted. <laughs> well, I know they're not as bad as like the Mafia. Yeah, well, he was... Fuck it, we're going to go ahead and say it. He gave us the right to say it. He is a former Yakuza member. And that is why uh, he says the eye patch was uh, a <laughs> the only thing that allowed him to get out of the yakuza. 
And now he shows his talents and his dominance here in PXT. Right now he has one member with the Syndicate, and that is Ace, who he did beat and does actually claim him in his Faction. He was looking to gain Super in his faction, but because he did not uphold his deal, his end of the bargain with Super, Super declined. Or Super just apparently does not trust them. And because of that, Ace had to be the one to take all the punishment. Last week, Ace did hold his own against Super, but holy fuck. <laughs> he took a lot of damage to where even the last hit of the match, ju I just wore him out. It, it was just a lot of punishment. But now the question is, can Ace and Satoshi prove that they could be a dominant tag team? Because so far, tag team wise, they don't have a win. <laughs> tag team wise, these guys do not have a win. Say it again, I like to see the brothers inside the sim- Wait, what? Oh! Oh, so you're hoping the syndicate wins then? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> oh, that would be pretty sick too. But now the question is, are they gonna go willingly or will they go unwillingly? That's the question here. But right now it looks like Satoshi just wants to beat some lesson into them since that whole back talk that happened in the back. Chain looking to start off against Satoshi. Satoshi is a pretty good technician fighter and finishes his matches with his submission hold. Calls a crime lock and he, ooh. I don't care who wins this, to be honest. No, I hear you. Right now, Satoshi dishing punishment to Shane, but Shane quickly getting out of it. Oh, but going in for it. Oh! Okay, a beautiful setup, too. A drop kick. And Shane quickly just tagging in Jack. Jack wanting to deal some punishment to the former Yakuza member, but I guess blocks the drop kick. I don't know how. Blocks it, and now Satoshi is taking advantage. And now looking to dish some damage to Jack, but Jack quickly getting out of it too. Now this is interesting because both men are actually technician fighters. Both Jack and Satoshi. So this is where this is going to be very interesting. We're going to see who excels better in the technician style. Will it be Jack or will it be Satoshi? Oh, right now it looks it looks like a good back and forth, but Jack winning the exchange of technicians. Jack's going to the top. Is he going? What's he gonna go? Oh, oh! I think Jack was putting some intimidation into Satoshi, and now looking to do. Push the shit out of Jack, but Satoshi wants more of Shane, but Shane's not even gonna have it and tosses him out. And right now, it looks like we're gonna have an all over the place type of tag team match. Because right now, Jack is all fixated on Ace. Oh, look at this, both men now in. Oh, was trying to go for a wheel barrel, misses it. But, oh, that was a point of a side, but no. Satoshi catching Jack, and Jack is now now in the control of the crime boss. Oh, good elbow shot, but Ace helping the boss out a little bit. And now going for a dominable stre stretch. <laughs> I stutter. Oh, good way to get out of the submission move. But Satoshi not having it hits him with, the, I guess, a clothesline. I don't know what that was. And now it looks like it's high flyer against Jack. Jack looking to do a lot of, oh, talent here, but gets caught in a good kick. They're so cheap though. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, good kick. Well, wait, we're talking about the syndicate here. <laughs> I'm talking about the syndicate. Syndicate's a little cheap if you think about it. <laughs> Right now, Ace doing doing pretty good against Jack, keeping him grounded. But Jack, oh, getting out of danger. Oh, hits him on the back, dropping Ace. And now Jack's looking to take control, sending Ace to the corner. Oh, look at this. I don't think Jack enjoyed the little double team that was happening in the corner there. And oh, hits him into the corner with a double knee shot. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, Jack. Jack got really pissed about that cheap shot that happened. He is really mad. Practically strangling the shit out of Ace. Oh, look at this. Going for the pin. Is Satoshi going to go in? No, Satoshi's not. 
Though she not not wanting to help Ace. I think it's uh, I think it's a little bit callback to win. Oh, it was Satoshi against Devil a couple weeks back to where Ace didn't help Satoshi at all. So maybe that's what's going on here right now. Oh, big to get the face right now. Look at this, Jack. Oh, catching him in a twisted neck breaker. And now looking to just rip off the arm. Man, I guess Jack just does not like Ace at all here tonight. And that one cheap shot just really set him off. I guess I take a to calm down a bit. He decides to tag in Shane. Shane was going for I guess a. Oh. I've got the chop. I think he was going for a twisted chop. There you go. That's the word. Oh my god! Right now, Ace just oh taking advantage and dropping Shane face first to the mat. Oh, I think oh he was going for a. Power no! Gets a Satoshi to a power bomb. Shane wants to just take out the crime boss in general. He wants to get him out of the equation. Probably make it easier to win the match. Oh, gets him with a big clothesline and kicks up. And Ace goes out. And oh, gets him into a suicide dive. And now both syndicate members are down. Now Shane's putting his attention to Satoshi, but immediately goes back to Ace. Oh, I think Shane was going for a big drop kick, but missed it. Ace getting out of danger there. Oh, but gets him with a big boot. Ace picking him up. I think I think Ace just wants it to be like fair and square. Oh no, I think Ace just again just wants Jack. I don't think he wants anything to do with. Oh look at this! Oh, outside dive right there. Ace taking out Jack, and now Shane's back in the ring. But Shane still looking to take out the crime boss here. Oh, but Satoshi doing some damage too, and now nope. Again, again, it, it is pure. It is. Purely insane what's going on here in PXT right now with the tag team. Oh, here it is. Oh, big knee shot there. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because I haven't uh, I haven't up changed their stuff yet because of the stuff like that. Oh, big forearm there. Oh, dropping the knee on Shane's arm right now. Shane. Oh, Getting punished by Ace. I think right now, I think we're seeing how like the rock, paper, scissors could actually work here. So if Ace is in the ring, it, it's pretty much going to be all Ace with Shane. But if Satoshi's in the ring, Shane can dominate that match. And it's sort of same thing, vice versa. But it feels like Satoshi gets screwed out <laughs> if he's just in the ring in general. Let's go there. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful suplex. Is that enough to put down Shane? No, Shane is still going. It's all last show and what I said about my arm. Oh, possibly. Honestly, that'd make a lot of sense. That's why he's probably targeting the arm. But it looks like now he's looking to go for the momentum. Boy! It's the momentum, boy. Is that another? But Shane down. One. Oh, Jack. Possibly saving the match there. We didn't know if that was probably going to be it or not. Oh, it's going to go for a dropkick, but Shane quickly reversing it and stomping onto the abdominal of Ace. Abdomen? I don't know the, I don't know the anatomy. <laughs> oh, now Ace in the corner. Oh, it's probably looking. Oh, look at that. Jack getting back at Ace there. <laughs> Jack getting back at Ace. And look at this. Shane said he can do it better. <laughs> It's a beautiful suplex of his own! <laughs> right now, I think Shane is probably trying to go for some tag team offense with Jack. Oh, beautiful double super kick right there! Oh, wait, but Ace quickly tags in Satoshi. Uh, I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> Because Satoshi has struggled with both Shane and Jack. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why are you looking to make us liars here tonight? Oh! Beautiful move right there from Jack. And right now, it is Jack. Just punishing Satoshi, getting him into the corner. Oh, look at this. I think he's going for the floor motion. 
And again, again god damn, there's a lot of anger in Jack. Holy shit, he, he does not like the syndicate apparently talking shit. Man, it looks like Jack. Man, if Jack did join the syndicate, he would be like the enforcer. Holy shit, man. He is just angry. And now, look at this. Just looking to see if they're all good. But look at this. Jack's not that going for a suicide dive on the crime boss of PXT. Ace looking to assist. Jack was trying to go straight at it, but look at this, Jack still does. Jack now looking to punish both Ace as well. Jack standing tall over the Syndicate. Oh, attacking the arm. Oh, look at this, looking to just damage the arm of Satoshi. That is actually a good idea because then that will probably loosen his grip or loosen his strength on holding the grip for Satoshi's crime lock. Gets Jack back in the ring. Satoshi, just, I think, taking a moment before he heads back in. I think Satoshi's realizing that he's... Oh, God. Jack Solo's practically God. <laughs> Honestly, you really... We got to commend Jack. He's doing exceptionally well <laughs> by himself. Don't be wrong. Shay oh, blocks the mist. I think Jack seen a little bit of PXC and realized that the mist was probably coming and he was able to block it. I think Satoshi's realizing that, <laughs> that he needs to get out. Probably probably reloading the mist, maybe. Oh! He's going for a standing shooting star, but Jack is just... Man, Jack is something else! Holy shit! He's practically soloing the Syndicate at this point. Oh! Gets lift up and dropped down. Again, tries to go for the tag, but Ace stopping it. Now Ace dragging him back to their corner. Now are we gonna see no, this is the first time I think we're seeing the syndicate go for something. And look at this! Oh the syndicate! Going for a double super kick as well! Say they can do it better than them! <laughs> oh! God damn, this this might be better than that again. Holy shit! <laughs> we see somebody go for like a fucking backflip suplex, the other team does it. Once he does a double super kick, the other team does it. God damn. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. A lot more punishment into... Oh, I think he was going for a senton, but I think he someone missed it. And now Shane got tagged in. It's Shane. Oh. Shane did get, did get stopped right there from Ace. And shouldn't Satoshi do that same to Jack about the flow of motion? Maybe. <laughs> Oh, right now, Shane getting him up and hits the Assassin's Creed! Is that enough? It's in their corner! This could possibly be their shot! Oh, oh shit, god damn, Satoshi just fucking jumped, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> Honestly, I think, I think, game-wise, I think Jack did get stuck there to where he couldn't, like, fend off and attack Satoshi. I think that's probably what happened there. Oh, big spine buster right there. And Ace gets out. Jack, you know, I think Jack was ready to just go at it. <laughs> God damn. Jack just looking to go at it, but gets caught in a suicide dive. Ace was fearful of Jack, and Shane took advantage. Oh, I think he was going for a super kick, but Ace catches it and gets it with a back leg sweep. And now, oh, beautiful moonsault. Standing Moonsault on the outside! But right now, I think Ace realizing that this could be the moment he needs. This could be the opportunity he needs. But it's taking too long and again, Shane just goes straight for the crime boss. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> God damn, was that a discus elbow? Holy shit! And right now, it's all Ace and <laughs> Shane and Jack. And that's all that's in the ring. Satoshi's on the outside. Jack's looking. Man, should we just call Jack a... Should we call him a Viper? Because, God, he was just walking there. He was literally rolling arrow. Well, oh, shit, dude. Fucking practically knocked Ace out. Ace looking to stall. Probably give... Okay, yeah, he did, he did stall a bit and he did... Work on it, and Jack and now looking to just <laughs> to do some damage to the crime boss, but Ace looking to do the same to Shane. 
Jack realizes it. Now Jack looking to do some punishment out here. And now goes straight to Ace and... Dishing everything he can. Oh! Oh, I think... God, if that was in the ring, that would have been a beautiful way for a pinfall. But it wasn't. I think Jack realizing that too. Again, man, Jack's just stalking at this point. But wait, no, no, no. Look at this, look at this. I think what he's going... I think he wants to secure the victory possibly taking out satoshi but satoshi uh oh right now they're at a count of seven. Oh, but ace did get out of the ring so the count is going to get reset and now oh it looks like the syndicate looking <laughs> looking to double team here oh I think both Ace and Satoshi are just, were just not happy with what was happening with Jack. And now Jack going back in the ring. Ooh, big punch to Satoshi. And now looking. I think, wait, what's Ace doing? I think Ace is just watching. Ace just watched that happen. What the hell? Ace just watched his partner get abused by Jack. Probably, oh, probably a sweet moment for Ace, maybe. Maybe he's uh, not, not really looking for the victory himself either. Oh, look at this. Jack looking to get out, but oh! Beautiful driver right there. I can't say the word. I'm, I'm illiterate. <laughs> and now Ace turns his sights on Shane. But again, because he's stepping outside the ring, he's resetting the count. And now, now it is just, now it is, now it's turning to a mugging. Now it's turning to, oh! Now it's a blue thunderbomb. Regroup Jack, come on. No, man, he was doing so good, but right now it's, oh, it's not going good. Right now the syndicate is just taking back control of the match. Go to sleep top move there and right now it's is ace gonna get him back in the ring or are they just gonna get counted out here tonight? Oh Jack yeah suplex. I think Jack realizing it roll slides back in the ring. Now is he gonna take the victory? That's the question. I can take it. Oh, quickly gets back in. Oh, it's a rolling elbow of his own. Oh my God, man! Both both teams are just doing shots at each other. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> Shane realizing that he's probably a little bit more winded than his brother, so sends him back in. Oh, here it is. Here it is going for the flow of motion. Is this enough? Oh wait. Oh, Ace. Oh, but hits a rolling elbow, too, and now Jack is down. He was going for flow of motion, but immediately Ace got out of it. One. Oh, wow. Shane got in. Still went to break it up, but Jack, with his great ring of awareness, knew that he was close to the ropes. Uh oh, uh oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, okay, he didn't go for it. He didn't go for a mental boy. Oh. Was he going for it? No, 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 he's not. Oh! Normally I was turned into a powerbomb, but God, that was more like a suplex than a powerbomb. Oh, look at this! Going for another floor of motion, looking to make Ace tap out here tonight! Ace taps out! Ace taps out! Shane! Shane and Jack win the match against the Syndicate, and Satoshi is pissed. And with that, Satoshi and, <laughs> oh my God, Satoshi and Ace take another L, but Jack and Shane take the victory against the Syndicate here tonight. Holy shit. By the way, congratulations to the team of Shane Henry and Jack Flo against the Syndicate. But now it is time for the next match. The next match is a division placement match. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the newest signees of PXT. And it is set and ready. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are introduced to y'all the newest signees of PXT. I never ran to the known man. I still go. 
is this possibly the most lights we've ever seen in PXC? Because for some reason, whenever I set up lights for everyone else, it doesn't fucking work. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, AJ Cannon. He is known as the Chosen One. He is the heartless chosen one. He backstabs anybody and everybody he needs to to get to the top. Because he is the chosen one, not anybody else. Also, the tag team of Flo and Shane will be the outcast. Not because they're they're outcasts, but it's a cool name. Nah, I got you. AJ Cannon's been all, all over the world. Also, a technician fighter as well. Known to be, if not, the best technician fighter around the world. And yes, I know, I just saw the, I just saw the knee pads. <laughs> the knee pads are funny. <laughs> I thought you viewed the guy. I did, but I just noticed it now. I'm stupid. <laughs> AJ Canning making his PXC debut again, being acknowledged as the chosen one. And because of this new contract he just signed, because he signed just recently, he is also up for possibly getting a shot at the PXT Championship or the PXT YouTube Championship. And who knows, maybe, maybe he could be, if not, the the newest like PXT champion ever or like what, what would we call that because I don't want to say youngest <laughs> he'd be the greenest PXT champion ever there you go <laughs> but now he has to go against someone else Uh, they were uh, a motion that you do with your hand with uh, one finger. <laughs> I didn't notice it when I uh, downloaded him, but eh, whatever, it works. We're not that censored. Ominous door, okay. Mist just magically comes in. Yeah. Okay, doors just flying open. Are we about to see something? Uh... Okay, Pyro just acted- oh, uh, Okay, cool! Just PG-13, so yeah, no, it pretty much is. That's what I'm saying, yeah, I'm mean, okay with it anyways. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce you to Desmond Blood. We have seen his work in other competitions, and honestly, he is by far, if not one of the most dominating forces we have seen in wrestling to this day. He has literally, if not dominated, multiple champions, not just around the world, but even in WWE. It's a sight to see because not just that, if you look at a, well, if you look at the attire here, <laughs> looks similar to somebody else, which uh, we did get news about recently, and we're, uh, we're going to bring up that later tonight. Desmond Flood making his way into the ring. Yielding an aura around him, if you will. With a very familiar lantern. <laughs> As I were saying, there's some news, but we will get into the news a little bit later after this match. For right now, Desmond Flood. Ready here at PXC and ready to go against AJ Cannon. Like I said, we'll get into it later. <laughs> like probably after the match. But either way, right now it is 
AJ Cannon against Desert Flood and AJ Cannon coming in right off the bat. Both men, honestly, I think even looking at it, both men are exceptionally tall compared to our other competitors here in PXC. Because, uh, goddamn, I think, ooh. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop pushing. Nah, you're good, you're good. Right now, we're just focusing on the newest signings, and right now, Desmond, oh, look at, hey, look at that chosen one, already having his foot up for the submission. Whoa, what's up, what, what just that? Oh, what the fuck just happened? What? <laughs> I don't know what we just saw, but I just saw a giant stop himself for an outside dive and immediately goes to a big clothesline. Right now, Desmond is just taking control of the match. I don't what? I, okay, Desmond's just okay. He's more supernatural than anybody here in PXC, I guess, because he just flew the wrong way. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> nah, you're good. You're good. I got gotcha. you. Either way, these are the newest sighties of PXT right now. Desmond being thrown back in the ring. AJ, AJ right now is doing a good job on keeping control of the giant right now. We, as far as we know, we've only know a lot about Desmond. Desmond right now has, oh good. Man, that was a, uh, I guess technically a springboard stutter. I was going in for a big splash there. Misses though, right now Cannon taking control. Cannon's getting him up. Cannon goes in for the big close, well not clothesline, suplex, sorry about that, but Desmond's not liking it and goes in with big elbows. And keeps going in with bigger shots. Right now, Desmond's taking control. AJ having a difficult time staying in this end right now. Oh, look at this, oh! Beautiful move there, but, eight, man, you gotta give props to AJ. AJ's actually pretty good with his ring awareness. When he got caught in a hold, he already had his foot on the rope. When he got caught in that move, he already had his hand underneath the rope to get out of dire situations. And right now, AJ again, just keeping up the back and forth right now because neither man really has full control of the match. And now AJ is looking, to, oh, was looking to do something, but, oh, okay. That's been missing another series of strikes I guess I'm not sure what's really going on with Desmond but Desmond's been missing a lot of shots I think AJ was going for a springboard but Desmond catches him gets him over the rope right now on the apron oh gets him into a stutter like move oh look at this Desmond's just taunting away but AJ's not gonna have it AJ not having it here tonight here in PXT Oh, big punches, big punches, big series of punches right there. Right now, AJ, honestly, if I did have to say who has more control of the match right now, it would have to be AJ, because Desmond is a little sloppy right now. He hasn't been missing a lot of his moves, and I think he's getting, a, I, think, I think he's losing control a little bit. Oh, Desmond's a bit of a monster, but when he does actually focus on the fight, he is exceptionally well. Oh, I think he was going to go for an Alabama slam, but quickly gets reversed. AJ getting out of danger and gets it with a leg sweep. Right now, it is all AJ. AJ getting Desmond back in the ring. Now, the question is, can AJ prevail? Can he put away this giant, if you will? Oh, look at this. Oh, was going for, well, I think he was going for a discus. Oh. Big power slam. It looks like, oh, in the deep! He calls that drowning in the deep. And the crowd's asking for one more time, is that enough to put away AJ Cannon? No, AJ is still going and he kicks out. And the crowd's actually loving the match. They're actually saying that these two should fight forever. In other words, these two are already making an impact here in PXC. Oh, big clothesline right there from AJ. AJ already coming straight up at it. AJ's doing exceptionally well. Gets Desmond up, and now I'm going to drop him all over the top rope. Goes him on the top rope and has him down. AJ, what's he going to go for here? I think AJ's being cautious here. And shows his... Oh! 
beautiful dunk is just the shoulder, if you will. And now AJ looking, pausing for a submission hold, looking to make Desmond tap, but Desmond, though, oh my God, holy shit. Desmond, though, being as big as he is, doing exceptionally well with getting out of the submission hold from the chosen one, if you will. Oh, big suplex, and I do mean a big suplex right there. Desmond is freakishly humongous, if you will. <clears throat> getting him up top, and now AJ sends Desmond over the top rope, and the action is happening again on the outside. But before AJ can take advantage, it is Desmond, Desmond's uh, just taking in more hellacious shots and now just pounding, pounding the face of AJ, if you will. Yes, had to send to my ass there because if not, people will take that as a what? Right now, it only gets a three count. Desmond going for it. Oh, 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 good. Uh, uh, it, uh, okay. I will say this. A lot of botches in this match, but gets caught in a big clothesline. And right now, the... Oh, is gonna go for a big knee, but misses it. Desmond gets out of danger. Oh, but Daisy, oh God, big knee shot to the face. And again, going in for a series of strikes to the face of AJ. Desmond going for the pin. Is it enough to put him down? No, AJ still going. Oh. Dropping down and looks like Desmond might be ready. Oh, look at this, oh my God. <laughs> Mandible Claw looking to just suffocate the shit out of AJ. Oh, is that enough to put AJ down, though? Yes, it is. Desmond picks up his first victory here in PXT. Now, just to point out here again, when we do divisions, uh, placement matches what we do is that it's not so much a placement on the winner gets the big title shot no or the winner gets the big title division no instead it's left to chance so really it's to see who gets the first pick that is what it is we use a little dice thing here it's a little hard to see but it goes from one or two to where one is the pxc title division two is the youtube title division to keep things more uh, fair so in other words if Desmond gets a one, he is in the PXC title division. If he gets a two, he is in the YouTube title division. And the loser of this match will be in the other one that is open. And with this last button push, we will see where Desmond is in. Is Desmond going to be in the PXC title division or the YouTube title division? Let's see here tonight. And with this, Desmond is in the PXC title division to where AJ Cannon will be in the YouTube title division. Congratulations to Desmond on picking up his PXT debut here. But now it is on with the show. So as we were discussing this earlier, um, from what we saw, the lantern that we've been seeing Devil use was in the hands of Desmond. And this is where some stuff is actually being questioned now, because apparently ever since Hellfire, according to Justin, Devil just disappeared. Devil is out of action and we actually do not know where he's at. We haven't been in contact with him and neither has Justin, and Justin has been pretty much shit scared. He doesn't know what the hell is going on. And with this said, lo and behold, when Justin was asking around the locker room if they seen Devil, he asked, if not probably the wrong person, he asked Gen X, and Gen X, being Gen X, said, who the fuck cares, if anything, you should be looking for me, because I am, if not, the best here in PXC. And Justin made another remark back at it. With that said, uh, Justin did not like the remark, so he also rebuttaled with uh, him losing to a lunatic, which was Mox. Gen X didn't take any of that, and uh, now they're, they are asking for a match against each other, and that is what's happening here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It is... Justin against Gen X here tonight in PXT. Well, correction, I guess technically that's the question Justin's really asking right now. Because it's true. I mean, it's, it is strange that Desmond would have the lantern that we've been seeing Devil hold for almost, oh God, the whole time he's been in PXT. And now somebody else has it. It is, it's a little, a little strange, if you will. Mm -hmm. 
But never the case, though nevertheless, of course, Jenix has to try to make everything about himself while we are looking for and trying to get word on the whereabouts of Devil. Jenix apparently just uh, decides to say, oh, well, you shouldn't worry about that. Everybody should worry about me because I am, if not the best here in PXT. Yeah, I mean, I mean maybe. <laughs> Again, if people don't know, Gen X is an MMA fighter turned into a WWE, well, correction, uh, PXT wrestler. <laughs> he did try WWE for a while, but he did not uh, succeed there, so he went with us. And uh, he, he's been doing pretty decent. Now, same cannot be said about Justin. So, real quick, uh, <laughs> we gotta point this out, that I think this match is in favor of Gen X more than Justin. The reason because Justin has actually not won a lot of matches. Or correction, hasn't won a one-on-one -on -one match at all. He has been in a total of eight PXT shows and he has only won once in PXT. <laughs> So I think if anything, Justin, uh, Justin might be barking up the wrong tree here. In all honesty, I don't know if you would actually be able to pick up the win and pick up the victory. But uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe he could surprise everybody here at PXT. Maybe. Justin probably, well, I think the other thing that we should also be considering too is that Justin's not just also looking to just beat the living shit out of Gen X, because <laughs> who wouldn't? But I think it's also that maybe he just wants to prove to everybody that he can do something here in PXT, because let's be for real. Oh, I didn't even see what was said. Ah, I actually can't even read it. God damn it. I hate this damn thing. Can I read the other one? He's the best at being a bitch. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my chat sometimes uh, doesn't update on this one, so that's why I had to look on the OBS to see what the chat was saying. All right now, but Gen X is taking control of the match. Justin having sh a little bit of trouble keeping up. Ooh. Doesn't mean drop down again. I want to. I want to just ask this now. The thing is, could Justin also be out of his like element as well? Because if you think about it, Justin not only is like wrestling to prove to everybody that he can pick up a win without Devil, but the other thing is, is he like a hundred percent in his mind space? Because now he doesn't know where his brother is. He doesn't know what's going on with him. He does, like it. It's, could that. Is it, is it good to fuel him, or is it good to, like, debuff him, if you will? <laughs> Alright, now, old Gen X getting control. Catching Justin into a DDT maneuver, and now getting him up into, oh! An Irish backbreaker. And now Gen X is just taking control of the match, and just punishing Justin. Gen X is using his striking backgrounds. Now does some damage to the ribs of Justin. Ooh! Big knee to the face. <clears throat> right now we're at a count of seven, but Gen X... I'm surprised Gen X didn't go for like a big hit move and then just go straight into the ring, knowing Gen X the way he is. Oh, look at this. Gen X looking at... Oh! Are you looking to rally just to dish some big punishment to the legendary high flyer here? Look at that, going for the pin, looking to put Justin down. Justin kicks out. I think Gen X, I think Gen X thought that that was enough to put Justin down. As I said, though, it's probably not that big of a difficulty to do because... Oh, look at this. Oh, I believe we're about to see next Gen here. And right now, it looks like the match might just be done and over with to where Gen X just puts away Justin. No, Justin kicks out. Again. Oh, look at that. Well, it looks like the crowd's loving it. They're saying we're not worthy. Oh, he's going for the bicycle kick. Quickly gets reversed. Justin is seeing the clothesline and Gen X just taking control and advantage of the situation. Still down to big power slam. 
in WWE he was. That, that's the reason why he was considered a legendary high flyer because in WWE, he was a WWE champion. Now, no, he has been out of it for over, oh God, eight years. So do want to point that out, that Justin is, if not possibly one of, if, if not the rustiest wrestlers here at PXT, along with Devil as well. Big elbow shot there. Because even same thing with Devil. Devil hasn't really won a lot of matches here in PXC. I think Devil only has three wins at PXC. But, and I think it also shows that Justin probably excels a lot more better in a tag team scenario because with Devil, they were able to defeat the Syndicate with ease, I want to point out. With fucking ease. Because we didn't even expect the match to end that quickly. <laughs> Well, also maybe that's maybe that's what uh, maybe that's what happened. Something that happened at Hellfire, possibly. No, oh! made Devil like disappear. Who knows? Oh, look at this, Justin. Oh, ju okay, Justin's coming in with his own setup here. We've actually never seen him hit anything like that. But Gen X coming back at it himself. I think Justin was. Trying to get out of harm's way, but oh, Justin's not going to take it. Maybe Justin's looking to fight back a little here. Possibly looking to rally. It was named Hellfire, so he might just be in hell. There is a chance of that. But now the question is, if that does happen, if he is just in hell, is he stuck? <laughs> He went for the corkscrew sent on. He landed it. Did not get the pin, though, on Gen X. Oh, Justin going in for... Oh, was going for a springboard frog splash, but misses. And now Gen X looking to take advantage of the situation. And this might be it for Justin. Gets caught with next gen. Is that it to put down Justin? No, Justin kicks out of next gen. Oh, the crowd's asking for one more time, but I think Gen X looking to put a little bit of shame to the legendary high flyer with a top rope knee to the face. That might actually be enough to take Justin out. No! He is still going. I'm actually impressed. Gen X, I think, is also getting a little frustrated, too. I think he thought that that knee shot would probably be enough to take him out, but Justin rolling out. Gen X realizing it. Was already ahead of the rollout. Was now just going in to just hurt Justin at this point. And it's getting Justin into a power bomb like maneuver and hits him with a power bomb. Genix is just taking full on control now with gut punches, but Justin looking to make a comeback of sorts, coming in with a gut shot of his own, getting Genix back in the ring. Justin being Justin, of course, and gets punished for it. <laughs> now Genix goes in for, oh, a shoulder tackle from the top rope. But honestly, now thinking about it, you might actually be right. Maybe Devil is just in hell, but the thing is, is he stuck in hell? Because Devil was actually, like, still pretty part of... Be uh, the, the, uh, 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 sure. <laughs> I, I again, I do not know what happened, but uh, the, the, I guess something happened. And now Justin just taking advantage, getting Gen X to the top rope, and now going for an avalanche bulldog. Is that enough to put Gen X down? One. Two, no, Genix still going. He might just be making a visit since he is devil. That is true, but the thing is, according to Justin, he has done this in the past, but normally he says something, corkscrew sets on the Genix, is it? Wait, could that actually be it? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. One, two, Justin picks up a win against Genix and puts him down. Okay, I'm actually impressed here. <laughs> I did not. I'll be. I'll be a hundred. I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. Did not expect Justin to pick up the win. But congratulations to Justin for picking up a win against Gen X. Holy shit, that was a. That, that, I legit didn't expect that. <laughs> and with that, Gen X gets another loss. It is. Oh god, damn it. <laughs> 
from what we were told from Justin, apparently if it was a visit thing, we would have heard some news about it because he has informed Justin like when he's going there, just so that Justin doesn't, you know, freak out the way that he is right now. So I think that's why Justin is a little on edge, if you will. Maybe. He lost and he is a bit. <laughs> yes, yes he is. Either way, congratulations to Justin putting down Gen X and shutting him up. But either way, on to our next match of the night. Uh, this didn't, this doesn't really have any real setup to it, but apparently Titan was uh, was feeling feeling in the mood, if you will. And who does he decide to go for? He decides to go for someone that lost against the kid, of course. In other words, he's looking for, looking to restart his career with taking on the Lumberjack. So tonight it is Titan against the Lumberjack here in PXT. He's not been able to pop off again here in PXT. Like we, we haven't seen him, God, we haven't seen Titan in a good while actually, now thinking about it. Titan is another competitor we haven't been seeing a lot here in PXT. And I also want to point out that yes, it looks like he is absolutely wearing nothing, but we can confirm that he is wearing. There you go. Just confirm it. <laughs> we, we know. We questioned him about it too. He said he feels more refreshed. I guess. <laughs> I, I fucking guess. I don't know. Titan coming back to PXT. Looking to probably make uh, make a rise to himself. I think the last time we saw Titan was actually at Hellfire to where he was in the... What was it? <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of the match. He was in the No More Contenders match for the PXT Championship. He did, he did come up short. I believe he was the one that got pinned. So probably looking to get another launch on his career. Because who knows? Maybe, maybe we could see a rematch of C. Jill and Titan out of this. In who knows what match. But then even the same thing can be said with the Lumberjack as well. The Lumberjack could also be in one of those matches as well and possibly go for the PXC Championship or the PXC YouTube Championship against C. Jill, which again, so, which again, C. Jill is undefeated and since again, C. Jill is not going to be here tonight. C. Jill uh, feels like, feels like he's already uh, done enough in PXT so far. Not saying he's done in PXT, but he thinks he's done enough for the month. And at least until of this. And with what happened to Jake Lawler, I'm not gonna argue with him because goddamn. <laughs> also, I want to point out, uh, PXT episode 9 is already ready. It's probably gonna be uploaded after this episode of PXT. So if you guys do want to check that out tomorrow, uh, in the middle of the day, where it is a little bit easier to watch, it will be up later tonight so heads up there and also want to point out uh we did time the match between jake and c jill last week the match was under five minutes <laughs> it was like four minutes and 49 seconds that's how that's how quick the match was the main event of last week that's how quick the match was just want to point that out to y'all to where I, I'm not gonna argue with CJ. <laughs> because uh, that's a death sentence. But either way, it is Titan against the Lumberjack here in PXC. Who's gonna prevail? Oh, Lumberjack was going for just for a punch, but Titan coming in explosively. Uh oh, Titan getting Lumberjack out there. No, tossing him with a double underhook suplex, if you will. Titan looking to lift the Lumberjack, but the Lumberjack's not going to take it. Now, this would be interesting, too, if the Lumberjack could put away Titan, because Titan did earn himself a PXC. You, oh, was that a pin? No, it wasn't. Okay. He was able to pick up a win to get himself a title shot. Now, when he did go for the PXC YouTube Championship, sort of same thing that happened with... Oh, Jake happened with Titan, and now gets caught into a buckle bomb into the corner. And the Lumberjack going for the pin one. Only gets a one count on the Titan. 
Now, again, I do want to point out, ever since BioWare Titan has, uh, I can't say not been the same, but he hasn't been in the talk, if you will. Like, he hasn't been in the discussion of PXT for a while. Oh! Big power bomb there. The Lumberjack just taking control and gets hit with a big kick across the chest. And right now, the Lumberjack just has full control of the match and Titan struggling to just make an effort, if you will. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, look at this. Oh, Titan lifting up the seven foot tall giant. And right now, Titan's displaying his immense athleticism and immense strength here in PXC. And I think that's what he wants to do. He wants to remind everybody that he's just not a one and done. He has a lot more in store here. And PXC comes in with a big knee to the face of the Lumberjack. Titan throwing the Lumberjack back, and now, oh, gets lit up and dropped down. Oh, there it is. The Spanish Fly Suplex, but now, is that enough? Oh, I think he was probably going to set up for the Olympus Falls, but the Lumberjack was able to stop it. Oh! That was the... That was the chainsaw clothesline from the Lumberjack. Or axe clothesline? Yeah, we'll call it that. <laughs> the big axe clothesline gets dropped. Oh my god, that was a sick drop. Holy shit. The crowd's asking them to fight forever. And it looks like... Oh, I think he was setting up for Timber, but Titan was able to get out of it. And now, both men again just rolling out. I gotta, give, I gotta give props to PXT competitors now because they are just realizing when their opponent's just gonna be outside the ring and just fucking chases them. It's insane. <laughs> it's funny, honestly. Lumberjack Green thrown back into the ring. Titan going to the top rope. Looking to hit him with an elbow to the back. And right now, Titan, I got good props. Titan is actually having control of the match here. One, two, only gets a two count. The Lumberjack kicks out. Lumberjack, Lumberjack. Oh, I like that, actually. Oh, but it looks like we're about to hit some Olympus Falls. That was Olympus' fall. It is that enough to put the Lumberjack down? No, the Lumberjack is still going. Oh, got top and oh! Tyne catches him in a big clothesline and oh, okay, somehow he was able to just go through the legs there and oh, okay, that was not a safe suplex, but it worked. Oh my god, Tyne, Tyne is just showing a bit of speed and power here tonight. Misses a big big right hook from the lumberjack the lumberjack oh getting caught a choke and quickly gets caught with a big gut punch oh look at this oh northern lights oh but turns into oh big one there's a lag spike but it's not freezing it's just glitching and your kid is cutting in and out oh that's not good <laughs> uh oh and oh, Olympus falls again. Is that enough to put the Lumberjack down? Is Titan going to secure the victory here? And yes, he does. Titan picks up the win against the Lumberjack. Well, it looks like Titan is already on the right path to put himself back on track. With that said, it is now on to the main event of PXT. That is right, it is time for the PXT Championship match between Bugrip Grip and Bone Tubular. So I want to point out that these two have technically never gone against each other one on one. So this could possibly be really good for Bugrip, Grip or this could be really bad for Bugrip. Grip. <laughs> Same thing with Bone Tubular. It could be either really good for Bone because technically Bugrip Grip doesn't know his full on like one on one capabilities, but he knows his capabilities in a triple threat match. That is what is on the line here. But then not just that, what is also on the line here is actually two things that could be history making. I want to point out here. If Bugrip Grip wins tonight, if Bugrip Grip wins tonight, 
he will actually be the first ever two-time PXT champion to where if Bone wins tonight, he will be the first ever PXT champion to successfully defend the PXT championship. Here it is, the main event of PXT. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of tonight, it is for the PXT Championship. And this match is for one fall. And now I will instant transmission out of there. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I hired the guy that knew instant transmission. View grip. Looking to become PXT champion. Now, all correction, a two time PXT champion. Now, again, I want to point out here technically, in that triple threat match, Bone did not pin Bugrip for the title. So, in that case, technically, Bone didn't actually beat the champion, but Bone could correct that here tonight by actually pinning <laughs> Bugrip because then that would show that Bone is a real, well, not really a real deserving champion, but proves that he beat a champion, you know what I mean? Instead of like Rodrigo, where Rodrigo wasn't even champion at all. But now the question is, does the title have a fucking curse? <laughs> does our PXC Championship have a goddamn curse? Because whenever it is the first time defending the title, there is a losing streak that happens. But then not just that, whenever you have the title, you just lose a lot. Now, Bone did prove that that was technically a little false, only because he did win his match last week against Carlo Mendez. But the question is, the big question is, can he successfully defend it here in PXT? And again, I do want to apologize about the big lag spike that's been happening. I do see it on my side as well. I do apologize for that. But this episode of PXT is getting recorded, so if you guys do actually want to see the PXT match clear as day, uh, it is will, it will be coming out later this week. Again, sorry that's not sooner, but it will be coming out later this week. Is beat Bugrip and make him just go further into your career, stop fighting Rodrigo and do something new. I do agree on that. I do think that, if anything, he should try something new. But, with that said, can Bone actually finally put Bugrip at the bottom of the list, in other words? Can he finally do it? Because not just that, Bone already has a lot of title defenses he has to do. The way on the clips for the TikTok. No, I uh, fully agree with you because that's what this episode is going to be. This episode is actually going to be the episode we're going to use to launch uh, the TikTok for PXC. Yes, we're announcing it. That PXC is going to have its own TikTok to where it's going to have uh, clips of the match. And then not just that, the reason we're going to start it here is because we want to get everybody more involved with PXC, but also not just involved, but also just to get their characters in PXC. Because since Abyss is happening, it is an open opportunity for everybody to possibly be a PXC champion. Because if there is one thing I will probably say right now, um, if we do get a lot more like spike of people coming in with pxc the one thing i will make guarantee right now is that none of my characters will go for the pxc titles now that is if we get a lot of people coming in <laughs> so heads up there heads up there but right now it is time for the pxc championship match introducing first the challenger Bugrip! Yeah, we don't have places where they live and stuff like that, but Bugrip is the challenger and his opponent. He is the PXT champion, Bone Tubular! I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep you going to the way it's that. Okay, shit, okay, that was a pretty cool way to display the title. That was a pretty cool way to display the title. <laughs> Bone Tubular already showing that he is he is a fun ass champion, but he's also proving that he's a fighting champion. No, I want to point out that this is the first of a series of PXC title matches that is going to be happening this month of PXC. But right now, it is Bugrip 
Bone Tubular for the PXC Championship. Who's going to win? Let's see here tonight. Bugrip going. Oh, trying to go in Ferocity, but Bone quickly stopping it. And now Bone just taking control of the match right now. And again, I want to point out that this is the first time we're seeing Bugrip going against a high flyer one-on-one -on -one wise because all of Bugrip's grips matches have been nothing but rodrigo and catches him with a beautiful suplex so now the question is can the speed of bone actually save him or is it going to turn into a pure powerhouse and bone catching Bugrip grip into a ddt to take the advantage of the match right now oh good forearm to the face of Bugrip. grip Oh, look at this. Going for that patented <laughs> Karana. And right now, I think I think Rodrigo might just be a little bit out of the sorts because, like I said, this is his first time going against a high flyer, especially a speedster type of high flyer like Bone Tubular. So this is going to be something new for the former PXD champion. And I think he's realizing that he's getting out of the ring probably to take a minute. Oh, oh, look at this. Both of them just having a standoff there, if you will. Oh, Bone catching him in a wheelbarrow powerbomb. Oh, a sunset flip powerbomb. Sorry. My chat didn't go through. I'll say it again. I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh, shit. And now Bone's just taking advantage. Bone just... Honestly, taking advantage of the match. I think everybody... Oh, look at that. Even misses the shoulder tackle. I got to admit, Bone is doing exceptionally well against the former PXC champion right now. This is this whole match has been nothing but Bone. I think Bugrip's realizing it too, but Bone! Well, I guess the curse of the outside dives is happening tonight. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. <laughs> There's a curse with outside dives now. Oh, big DDT shot. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I didn't. Was it about the TikTok stuff? Yeah, I just announced we're going to be doing that uh, this week because to announce Abyss and then opening the shot for everybody coming in. If that's what you were talking about. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, now Bugrip looking to take the advantage. Oh, big leg sweep. And right now it is all Bugrip. But Bone quickly getting out of the ring. But not taking a long moment like what Bugrip was doing. Oh, look at this, Bone. Coming in with an inverted DDT to the former PXT champion. Right now, again, I want to point out, this is technically a history-making match, mainly because we could see Bugrip being a two, the first ever two-time PXT champion, or we could see a successful title defense for the PXT championship for once. There it is for the pin. One. Bear only gets a one count. That's actually really good for Bone, but I would still watch out for Bugrip Grip with the, his patented Bugrip. Grip. If he hits it, it could be lights out. Oh, smart move from or Bugrip, Grip. Sorry, smart move attacking the leg to stop the high speed offense of Bone. Bone's not taking it. Bone got Bugrip Grip in the corner. Now got him up. What's Bone gonna go for here? Bone's gonna go for a Will Bell Bulldog! We have seen this earlier tonight from the legendary High Flyer Justin, and it looks like Bone is paying homage here, but here it is! Oh! I thought we were gonna see Bone Crusher, but it gets turned into a power slam! Oh, a twisting neck breaker! And right now, it look and right now it looks like. Oh! Okay, I was gonna say it looked like Bugrip had full control, but Bones coming back at it now. Bone coming with series of strikes and now hits! It's a flat line. Also, a little bit paying homage to the Rook of PXT, if you will. Bone is here to make a statement here tonight that he is a PXT champion and that he is a fighting PXT champion, that he's not afraid to defend the title against the likes of people like Bugrip. Because right now, he is taking full-on control of the match. And no, I want to point out, he hasn't even been going full high flying. Can you see it? I, I don't I don't know what we're talking about. Can I see what? <laughs> I actually can't see none. Is it a clip? Is he something? I don't know. Oh, 
Ooh, was going for a twisting clothesline, but missed. And now Bugrip looking to take advantage with series of strikes. Oh, it's a big clothesline. But now here's the thing, well, Drew, well, correction, Bugrip, if he wants to win the match, this is a normal match. He has to get him in there. A long chat, I've been trying to type, type out for the second time. Uh, no, actually. Has it popped up on the actual like video itself? If so, then I might be able to see it like later. Because <laughs> I do know the YouTube chat has been like finicky. Because there's sometimes where I have to look at OBS to see the chat. Oh, look at this. Oh, Bone. Oh, count of eight. I think Bone was hoping for probably the count of there. I am the one running the TikTok account. That's it. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shane's going to be the one running the TikTok account and hits the unforgivable. Is that enough to put down the PXC champion? No, it's not. Which is to contact me for ideas. Oh, no. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, I was going to say, if that did pop up in the chat, I will actually look to make that into the description for PXTs as well. Oh, look at this. Beogrip looking to close the match right now. We haven't seen a successful school crusher. We're not going to see a successful Beogrip here tonight. Both men reversing the others. Signature moves. Bone looking to end the match here. But Beogrip kicks out. Man, okay, both men are actually being very cautious here, believe it or not. We've seen a reversal of the Bugrip. grid We've seen a reversal of Skull Crusher. Oh, beautiful drop kick. And right now, Bone again, just taking full-on control. I like the live chat thing on my POV, if that makes sense. Nah, I got you. Oh, look at this. Oh, Bone coming in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, gets caught by the former PXC champion. And right now, Bugle hit him with a big power bomb. Holy shit. But Bone not even allowing more than that from Bugle Grip. And Bone again is in control. But Bugle Grip looking to get control as well. I gotta get props. This is actually a pretty good match between the two. Oh, big DDT right there. But like I said, if Bugrip wants to actually win the match and the title, he has to get Bone into the middle of the ring and get the pinfall or the decision in the match or in the ring. Bone looking to rally here tonight. There it is. Beautiful leg sweep there. And now... Oh, wait, is Bone... Is that going to be a... No, there's no way. <laughs> Bone thinking that that little leg sweep might be enough to take out the former PXC champion. Is that enough? No. Bugrip kicks out. I'm telling you right now, this is probably going to end either with a skull crusher or a bone spike. Oh, here it is. Skull crushing. Here it is. Is that enough? One. Two. No. Bugrip kicks out of the skull crusher. Oh, and gets him with... Because when Eric Rana sends it flying, is this going to be it? Gets another Skull Crusher! Back to back! Is that enough to put away the former PXC champion? Two, three, and Botuber has broken the curse! <laughs> Botuber has successfully defended the PXC champion! Botuber has successfully defended the PXC championship! The winner of this match, and still the PXC champion, Bone Tubular. And with that, that sends Bugrip at the bottom of the list. And now Bugrip is out of the title picture shot. Um, if you guys are interested in that and actually want to get in contact with PXC and stuff like that, uh, you guys can either do it here on YouTube or with the post that I'm going to be doing on Xbox. If you guys have an Xbox, that's an option as well. Or if you guys want, uh, because Shane's going to be running the TikTok for PXC, uh, you guys can actually contact him on there and we can see what to do and I'll sleep, see uh, 
anything like that. If anything, what we're going to actually recommend for you all to do with PXC to get y'all's characters in, we're going to use the special hashtag PXC Abyss. So if you guys want to get y'all's characters in, go ahead and use PXC Abyss for the uh, creation community. Uh, pretty much, we don't really have a limit with this stuff. Where can they contact you besides Xbox? Uh, like I said, you guys can actually contact me here on YouTube as well, either in the comment section or uh, actually you guys can reach my email. I do have an email, uh, Cyclo Hunter 188, uh, correction, Cyclo Hunter 1821 at Gmail. If you guys want to go ahead and hit me up there as well, that would be perfect. Because if anything, I think later in the future we'll make a Gmail for PXT alone. Uh, I haven't thought about it right now, at least what to call it. But we'll probably be doing that. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that with PXT, but then also I do have a TikTok to where I will be promoting PXT there as well. So if you guys catch us on there, you either hit up Shane if you guys catch him there or TikTok here as well, <laughs> or Twitter or correction x which is stupid uh so either way there's a lot of places where you guys can reach out to us for pxc and know this goes out to everybody with ww2k 23 not just xbox exclusive but either way guys uh thank you guys for watching again uh peace out take care have a great night if you guys watch this recording uh like subscribe share this video to all you guys friends you guys enjoyed and we will catch you guys either in pxc or on the next video that i make or live stream you guys ever want to come on down and say hi just come on down to a live stream peace out take care i'm Audi. have a great night guys